Hello everyone, this is Kalyan, having 5 plus experience in big data. Today I will be going to show how to work with the Apache Hadoop with multiple users. So if you want to know how to install the Apache Hadoop for 1.x version or 2.x version, you can just follow my previous videos also. Yeah. Let me start with the session how to work with the multiple users. So currently in my EM, I already installed the Hadoop 1.x version. If you want to know more details, you can always follow my previous video. Let me start my current version of the Hadoop. Let's start iPhoneAll.sh. So now is it started or not? Just verify with JPS command. So currently in this box already Hadoop 1.x version is installed and I have started. So my user current version current user is Hadoop user. Okay. So let me open browser. And if you want to access Hadoop in local mode means in your local browser means localhost colon 50070. You can access through this. And if you want to browse the file system means you can go with the browse file system. Okay, so currently in this system actually I have some demo folder is there some data in that and also home folder some data like this we are having it. So let's create a new folder let's say test. If you want to know more details about this you can also follow my previous video with the Hadoop comments also. Currently I am going to show how to create one test directory with mkdir command slash test okay so now it is created you can verify in the sdfs also there's a test currently who is the what are the permissions for this folder and who is the owner and who is the group if you observe it here the details are there you want to change these details also we can change it so first let's try to create a new user and uh, try to access the hardware from there i'll open one more tab with sudo add user the emo, the username i want to give it here demo so do add user demo first it is going to ask your current user password my system password right now is hard let me enter that and after that it is going to ask you the demo user password so i want to give demo user password is demo and confirmation password is demo also so if anything wrong you am just going to say try it again let's try again okay demo and confirmation is demo okay now again correctly now it's able to proceed you want to provide these details also full name other details you can otherwise you can simply enter 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 then is this enter information is correct means let's say s yes and continue so currently in my user demo folder demo user is there similarly let's create one more user is orientate and you want to enter the password for overnight because already you log in on already given one time sudo password but no need to give one more time directly to the ask this time is the warranty as a password only you can provide the overnight confirmation also overnight then these data you can simply say enter if it is yes provide it so currently in my system i have hadoop user is there demo user is there and one more is overnight user so if you want to access hadoop from these users what other changes are required is let's go step by step the first step is create a user Second one is add hard home Java home path to slash etc slash bash slash src file. And third one is change the 
permissions to download home download home slash conf folder which are the files we are having it we have to change the permission and the way we need to do all these things let's observe it first thing is i will explain because i want to work with the multiple users already in my system currently how to be installed i can able to play with that but suppose if i want to work in a different different users we are going to create a multiple users okay after that how to add the hadoop home java home to corresponding user it's better to add it in the etc slash etc slash bash dot bash rc file then it is going to applicable to all the users okay let me access my current details g edit tilde slash dot bash rc this is previously I have set my Java home out of home details here. Let's take it from here. So one is Java home, other one is the out of home. Let's put these two things into it. Now the stability. Okay. And we need to add these two files into a etc basrc for file. For that, let's execute the command is sudo g edit slash etc basrc dot basrc then enter the password hadoop okay now let's add these details into the end of the file what we have updated okay let's copy and update here so make sure that which version of the java you are having it and which version of the hardware you are having you go with this currently in this box i installed with the 1.7 still you can go with the 1.6 also i installed the 1.x version of the hardware you can also go with the 1.2x version also okay let's save this file close it okay so we are done with the updating this okay and let's try to connect to have a demo user so demo is the command to connect to demo user and password we already given as a demo let's say enter now you can see your username is the demo similarly let's try with like what one more also so orient password are given as a variety let's enter so this user is the demo user i want to set a title say demo sorry and this one is the orinity and here is the our hardware user right now okay so right now i have three users demo user orinity user and hardware user okay so you want to do some hardware command practice now let's say hardware it's working on a verify it is able to work with here and similarly if you want to work on here also let's say hardware is able to work but if you observe here some permission issues are coming it you want to solve this permission issues is let's give the permission to that folder okay let's try to open one more terminal also so currently i'm in the hardware user you have to give in the hardware user only okay the command is ch mod 755 to dollar hadoop underscore home slash conf slash stop if you want to give to all the files also you can do a specific files now i just given to all the files now let's try it in the demo user and the hard orient user is this time is coming the message or not you can see there is no message and inside the orient user also you want to verify it also we can verify there is no coming and there is one warning is given showing by the here now hadoop underscore home is deprecated this is warning you want to deprecate also you want to suppress it also you can suppress it it's not a bigger let me show you how to work with this first thing is i just given a support to you how to create a user and how to update the java home and do inside the bas rc and the change the permissions once we are done with i'm just troubleshooting one more issue like what fixing the Home is duplicated. 
So how to fix this one is export Adobe underscore home one underscore one underscore suppress equal to true. Just add these lines into your bash C for local user and global limits. You can add it in the our ATC also. Let's do it one by one. G edit slash sorry tilde slash dot bash rc and just add this line fine and similarly if you want to fix it in the root user level also sudo g edit slash etc bash dot bash rc and just add one more line here also so once you've done these changes you can verify now now when you type hado this change has to be suppressed now let me open a press terminal and type now you cannot see now same thing if you want to do it also but better let's close the entire terminal once i'll go and show you okay hado cannot see that message now similarly so demo you type hado it is also not going to show here similarly so for unity here also when you type hado it's not going to so my hado user it's not showing and similarly demo user also not showing and warranty user also not showing okay fine so now let's play with the real stuff how people are going to work in real time with the securely with this so let's try adobe fs iphen ls slash command in the adobe user it just going to show the details okay same command let's try in the demo user also is it working or not verifies slash that's okay so the reason why it is working like what we are having a permission to read write execute read execute read execute that means like what user level we have permission group level we have permission other level also we have permission then these files can be read and execution access is given to all the users okay now suppose let's try to create a our own directory how do fs fn mkda slay sample one and let's try to get same thing in the demo user how do fs fn mkda slash sample two okay it is saying permissions are not there okay let's try in the ordinate user also is it going to work or not yeah sorry so let's continue now if i'm trying in the my warranty user also same issue you're able to see the reason for this one is like we don't have permission to do any operation so who will give the permission is our main admin user that is hado so let's say create a sample 2 create sample 3 and these three folders right now will be accessible by the only hado user and sample 1 i'll give you permission to hado sample 2 will give permission to demo sample 3 will give permission to orinati how to give the permissions is it has to happen from the our hardware user iphone ch o iphone a demo sample 2 i'm giving a recursive permission to sample 2 for demo user you can check the permissions now it is demo for sample 2 similarly let's give it to the sample 3 for ordinary three ordinary so 
so now it's going to be variety so we are having permissions to this now if you want to access this data and if you want to write the data also is that possible let's see now here before that one more is sample sample one sample two okay cool let's try to put some data hadoop fs iphone port slash etc slash hvsts sample one folder with file one this is the command i am trying on the hadoop user please clearly observe here it is a host file i am trying to put in here will it allow or not observe it it is allowing you can also verify in the sample one folder file one now same command try to do it in the demo user with the name is file2 it's not allowing us the reason is we don't have a permission to sample one folder only we have a read and write, read and execution same thing will happen to the ordinary user also but can I insert in the my demo user yes I can do it let's try to the demo user that is the folder is sample2 with name is file2 I want to give it okay this is allowed because we are having a permissions for this one okay now let's try same command from the ordinary user for sample1 folder with the it's not allowed sample 3 sample 2 folder with file 3 not allowed but which is going to allow is the 3 sample 3 folder is going to allow because we given a permission to sample 3 to ordinary user this is what exactly as a user level you have to always remember so as per the user access level we are going to putting the data and that can be read or write so can can i read user 1 data or user 2 data or sort of data and demo user oriented data let's try it now okay for that reading the data is a cat command out of fs iphone cat in sample 1 folder we have a file 1 right now we have cat let's try to say okay it is allowed same thing let's try from the demo user also it is also allowed let's try from same thing from sample user 3 also it's allowed the reason for why it is like what we are having a group level permissions like what read and execution only we don't have the right execution the right execution is there means it's allowed to do that so this is going to give an idea like what how to work with the in a hard environment like a real time multiple users so this will be going to help you so hope you got an idea so thank you